Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll talk about the signs to look for that can help you better identify when your cat is just playing around with you and when they're in full-blown fight mode. The transition can happen in a second. That's why it's very important to know what to look for specifically. And make no mistake, cats love to play. However, when the emotion of play gets to a certain level, there can be a bit of a shift in behavior due to their predatory instincts, sort of like a lid about to pop off of a boiling pot. When cats get a bit too energized and the emotion hits somewhat of a ceiling or a peak, the mood can turn in an instant and you can find yourself on the receiving end of aggression. Before we take a closer look at today's subject, let's first explore our topic overview. Cats exhibit solitary and social play behaviors. The latter is how they interact with humans, stalking, chasing, and batting them in a gentle and controlled way. Some cats enjoy being chased by their owners, while others become intimidated. You shouldn't wrestle with your cat, as you'll teach it to treat your hands as a toy. While that overview is satisfactory, there is so much more to the story, and if you're a cat owner, you certainly know what I mean. Subtle shifts in body language, behaviors, and vocalizations can turn the tide in a hurry. Those cute little swipes with the paws can turn into swipes of aggressive intent with the claws out. The same action, this time with more focus and an intent to inflict harm. Before we take a look at the core differences between casual social play and fighting, a big shout out to the best viewers on the feline wing of the internet, and that would be you. Thank you for making Senior Cat Wellness what it is today. Whether you're new here or you've been here since day one of the journey, we thank you so much. None of this would be possible without you, our foundation, our backbone. There is no senior cat wellness without you. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. It is our mission to serve the feline community and do it with a kind heart and a smile. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to join us, and we do hope to see you again in future content. Now, is your cat playing with you in a friendly fashion? Or is your cat angry, upset, and ready to fight? Let's talk about how to spot the differences. In a word, demeanor. Body language is everything when it comes to spotting those important differences. Generally speaking, what we would deem as play-motivated aggression occurs in young cats and younger adult felines. While nothing is out of the question, you are more likely to get into a tangle with your five-year-old cat rather than your 15-year-old senior feline. Unless you have a cat from hell, <laughs> and there are indeed a few, most fighting incidents certainly don't start out that way. Your cat is in a playful and content mood, however, too much excitement and energy, perhaps due to a lack of routine play opportunities, can send your pet a bit over the edge. Let's first take a quick look at the playful side of life. Little taps with the paws, little taps on your legs, your hands, your shoulders, perhaps slower and more relaxed movements, perhaps some biting, but it's more of a quick and subtle fashion, a quick release nibble, if you will. The best way to describe a cat in the midst of social play is somewhat of a walk through aggressive state or mock aggression, fake fighting. Here's what we mean. Let's take sports, my favorite thing. <laughs> In basketball, they would call it a shoot-around, where players will take to the court several hours before the game and just shoot around. They're not in game mode, so everything is at half speed. It's still basketball, but it's certainly not the game, and it's not really even practice. More of the act of going through the motions, so those motions will be ready when it's time for the real deal. If you have cats, you've probably noticed that social play is essentially dumbed-down aggression, for lack of better wording. Many of the earmarks of aggression are in place, but the motions are dull. The swipe of the paw is a bit lazy. The grabbing of your hand is there, but it lacks intent. Dogs are very much the same in this regard, most notably small dogs. On the contrary, play that turns aggressive involves a stark behavioral shift. 
For the Paul swipes are no longer just movements, but actions of intent, a scratching of the hands, biting of the fingers. If you're standing, attacks of the legs, ankles, and the feet. Make note of your cat's ears. Content play is displayed by relaxed ears. Aggressive cats will display a pinned back appearance with fur standing on him. And of course, the hissing and the negative meowing. Let's just say that's a dead giveaway. While there are ways to explain the differences in content play and honest aggression, more from a technical standpoint, the real world examples and postures are often a bit more effective because after all, that's what you'll see and experience in real time. Here again, think of play as the shoot-around analogy. It's mock aggression at work. In many cases, for most people, the ability to spot the differences aren't all that difficult. I mean, I think we all could recognize a mad and upset cat when we see one. However, it's what to do when that mood changes. What should you do in that very moment? That can be the difference. Continuing with the play aspect in this state, if you keep this up, that's how people can get hurt and sometimes rather serious fashion, depending on the circumstances, the more you sort of egg on your cat, the angrier and more aggressive your pet can become. And this can come here again at a great cost for you. Once you notice the shift, remove your hands from your cat immediately. Keep them on your lap, by your side, and even behind your back if necessary. Stop the music. The record player stops. Cease all actions. More times than not, your cat will slowly start to calm down or actually leave the room in some cases. In order to protect yourself, just a bit of a cool down period is imperative. And whatever you do, do not strike fire with fire. If your cat scratches your arm, don't play the role of the mighty enforcer and meet aggression with aggression. This will not end well, and it will potentially set in motion some negative behaviors in the future. A lot of trust can be lost if your cat begins to view you as the enemy. If you want trust lost, just go 12 rounds with your cat. You might spend years trying to get that trust back. When your cat begins to take a tone and fun playtime turns aggressive, just stop. Your cat will back down within a matter of seconds because, after all, it does take two to tango. And while that is <laughs> admittedly a very tired cliche, it is a cliche for a reason. We noted a bit earlier that aggressive moods during otherwise content playtime can be a sign that your cat just doesn't get enough playtime. Too much pent-up energy could be the reason for the outburst. If your pet isn't getting enough playtime from both the mental and the physical standpoint, it's important to play the role of encourager. Pay attention to cues, especially if your cat is acting needy. Does your cat paw at you, meow frequently, follow you around the house? Does it love to relax next to you on the sofa? While these are signs of trust and a solid bond, they're also signs of attention and signs that your cat is doing too much of the heavy lifting. Engagement in the form of play could be in order, and by play, Let's remove the contentment wrestling, for lack of better wording, and introduce toys and games of enrichment. This will allow your cat to spend fun time with you while making play more about mental and physical exercise rather than a trial of mock aggression. Other signs of lack of play and positive activity can be manifested in the form of a bad mood, weight gain, and unruly behaviors, such as scratching furniture, tearing up toilet paper, ripping your clothing, Almost everything in between. The latter is quite concerning, as this points to a cry for help in many respects. Your cat is creating its own physical adventures because other avenues are not being granted. And on that note, that will close things out for the video portion of this material. However, if you'd like to know all about feline playing, feline aggression, and how to spot the differences, we've got you covered over at SeniorCatWellness.com. There you will find a more polished and professional view of this subject. While this video is rather real world and brass tacks, if you would like a more educational rollout of this topic, please check out our written material and you can find it all by clicking the initial link in the description box below. We hope you enjoy what we have to offer you on that front and you can enjoy it all right at the conclusion of today's presentation. And once again, if you enjoyed what we brought to the table here today and would like to see and hear more please like and share this video and subscribe to the seniorcatwellness.com official youtube channel it would be greatly appreciated and until our paths cross again and i certainly hope they do we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today please have a wonderful day all the best to you and yours and we will talk to you later